Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. So exciting. Not quite sure we have a couple things going on today, but of course we're going to open up our tea advance and drink some tea. That you can probably, probably count on. <laughs> Let's just get the advance open. Gray's Mixture. Honey Bush Blueberry Pancake. White Dragon. Lavender Earl Grey. English breakfast. And there is what we have for day 17. Tesaurus tea, Char Brew, Sense and Sensibility, Adagio, David's tea. The sun is just coming up. Advans are open. The birds are, oh my gosh. There's a little black capped chickadee right in front of me. So adorable. Jeanette's making her coffee. Oh my gosh, the deer are running. <laughs> I'm so distracted. <laughs> the sun is just coming up and I have to run downtown and uh, just um, get some different footage and stuff around town. <laughs> They're so, the birds are so adorable. For a client before I really get into the day and um, yeah, we're so fascinated by the birds right now. I'm so distracted, but. Okay, off I go. And then tea. I don't know if you can tell, but it's cold. <laughs> but let me show you, they're getting the rink going. So this here is going to be the rink for downtown. And it's so adorable because it's right in front of the library, which is ginormous. I love it. So pretty, Toro. Okay, I'm officially frozen. So, I think I better get going. <laughs> it's so cold. <sighs> okay, in the car, my hands are like, they feel like they're about to fall off. It is minus 10, no, minus nine out. <laughs> oh, just ball me. So cold. Oh, winter is not my friend. Let's go get tea. I have been back and I've gotten warmed up. And in my mug, I have the David's Tea Lavender Earl Grey, which is nice. Not my favorite Lavender Earl Grey because I'm probably rare in the fact that I just, like, I could probably just chew on lavender. I love it so much. Still a good cup of tea, but just, just give me more lavender, which probably would make the majority of people unhappy. <laughs> so good call on David's tea. But this is my mug that Jeanette gave me. She surprised me one day with it, and I just love it. It's it's just perfect. Star Trek fans and people would get it. I have been wrapping presents though. And I got my first present wrapped of the season and I just I love it. What do you what do you think? The little kitties. A lot of times we don't go with most of the time we don't go with traditional wrapping paper. We use brown paper, but we wanted to get some wrapping paper for those fake presents underneath the tree to keep Gary away. And we had extra, so yeah. And I thought the green looked fun and you know, kitties would like to play with that. So yeah. And Jeanette had her coffee and we're just, do you want to say anything about your coffee? It was fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, the grind was right. The method was right. The flavor was fabulous. Oh, that's good. That's the one I opened last night. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That's the one from Aroma Maya? Yes. Nice. Yes. That's really great. Great to hear. And we're going to get ready soon. We have a family dinner to go to around like lunchtime. So, yeah, it's 930. So we're, we're doing pretty good. Relaxing. Wrapping some presents brings me such joy to wrap presents. So <laughs> that's all. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we 
had a family dinner this we did. afternoon. Yes, we did at my brother's place. It was really nice to see everybody. And it's very nice. Me. Food is good. Yeah, food was amazing. Company was brilliant. Like it was so great to chat with everybody. A lot of times you don't get to see nieces and nephews as often as you'd like. And that just really made me very happy to be able to see everybody all together. And yeah. My brother gave me a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I think you got that on on camera, didn't you? I think I might have. Yeah, so. Yeah. So, of course, we didn't drink too many teas today. Um, I had uh, lavender earl gray that I told you about already. Mm -hmm. And now we have three to try. Ooh, da. I'm going to start with the... Whichever one you want to pick up first. No, this one's closest. Uh, Adagio Honeybush Blueberry Pancake. Honeybush tea, rose hips, apple pieces, maple flavor, blueberries, natural blueberry flavor, blue corn flowers, vanilla cream flavor. Oh, it's nice. You can taste the blueberry a bit. Not, it's I can not, smell the blueberry. Yeah, maybe I smell it more. I think it needs to cool down. I think it's one of those things where it's like when the blueberry cools down. The tea cools down you can taste the blueberry more it does taste like a pancake right it tastes like a blueberry pancake yeah but i feel like if it cools down it'll come out even more mm. yeah just just a touch it's really nice though it's very nice yeah next next uh tesaurus tea yep white dragon um this minty oolong will bestow upon you the icy breath of the white dragons themselves spearmint and wintergreen combined to grant you an unforgettable cup I, I love spearmint. What's in it? Ooh. Oolong tea, spearmint. No, there's something else in Gynostema, there. Gynostemma, wintergreen, thyme. Thyme. Oh, that is interesting. I'm not big on mint. So. It's not super minty. I thought it was going to be like super minty that you're smelling the thyme. Is, is that? Yeah, because I know that when we, we grow thyme in the garden, and I know that when I mow the lawn and I touch it every once in a while, I'm yeah. like, ooh, that's very thymey. And huh. thyme, like, it's interesting, isn't it? Mm. When I smelled it, though, I didn't think I was going to like it because I didn't really smell thyme, but I taste thyme. And there is, like, a tiny bit of spearmint there in the back. Yeah, a little bit, but not as much as I thought it would be. No. Interesting. Oh, and before we uh, move on, I did see that Jess had asked where I got this mug. I believe it was this one that she was asking about. It's double walled mm -hmm. and then it flares up. And I believe I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that this one was Ikea a while ago and it's something that they don't have anymore. This one is like a bow Odia or something like that. I love how it looks like it's like suspended. Yeah. Yeah, super cute. Um, the, this one you can usually find uh, online. I probably picked it up at Winners. And this one, of course, is an old David's Tea Perfect mug. It was actually the one with a beautiful pattern on it, but I put it in the dishwasher. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Please <laughs> go ahead. This is um, Sense and Sensibility. Gray's Mixture. Ingredients. Ceylon Black Tea. Kimon black tea, bergamot, dried beet. You can taste the dried beet. Like that is... Huh. Right? It tastes I like mean, that we, earthy? We've got three teas together here, so maybe we're... We should really be cleansing our palate before oh, each one. I could use this old tea. Okay. Oh, that is much more lavendery now. <laughs> anyway, yes, there is definitely an earthy tone to that, which I assume is the the beat. Does anybody else just randomly pick up old cold mugs of tea and drink them? Do you do that? I mean. 
I know it's mine. Yeah, that's it's not I just know. a random mug. <laughs> yeah. If I make a cup of tea and I don't finish it, then sometimes I will drink it cold. Yeah, like six hours later, you find it and you're like, hmm. Yeah. Because there's no sugar or cream or anything in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? No. <laughs> no, thank you. These are very, very interesting. Mm. Yeah. All very different. Very much so. So, so yesterday we chatted about books. We did and kind of dove down some different rabbit holes and afterwards i was like oh i should have mentioned this one i should have mentioned that one yeah i think i was just so stunned that half of my like saved library wasn't synced up and i was just very confused about the whole thing yeah and i was tired yesterday today is much better slept better slept much better today so so after books comes music yeah and it was also just that mentioned the books so thank you very much if you have any questions for us please leave them down below we'd love to love to hear them yes so do you want to share you had mentioned before about the after eights yeah um, and we were talking about like the record albums no that's very beady um, this is so nifty yeah so after eight and then after eight volume two so neat um yeah they've got just a selection of the best of modern classics they've got moon river annie song brian song the first time ever i saw your face just very like um after dinner music after eight <laughs> yes, exactly. Actually, half of these are pretty much the, the same the on each same? one. Yeah, I'm seeing. Produced exclusively for Roundtree Macintosh Canada Limited. Interesting. Back when Roundtree was That's a so thing. Nifty. The best chocolate. Yeah. Mm. When we were going through the grocery store the other day, we we saw the after eights and all the different flavors and we were just like <laughs> since we had been talking about it before yes so. do you want to share some other christmas music or yeah i've got a ton here do you want me to go first i have two to share if we're only looking at record albums i have two to share well, what would you what you you go ahead i'd okay. love to hear what you have so, to so these are all christmas ones yeah you went with christmas records yeah and i just went with Here's two records that I like. So yeah. let's so, hear your Christmas. <laughs> this one I picked up at a thrift store years ago. I love it. It's Christmas Day with Colonel Sanders. I love that. And on the back. And on the back, there's like a little note from him. And it was from 1968. That's so neat. Yeah. And it's just like traditional... Uh, traditional music like the the stereotypical like what you think of when we were well, kids yeah rudolph the red-nosed reindeer it came upon a midnight clear santa yeah. claus is coming to town the christmas song um did you see where they say that kids nowadays look at the kfc logo and they're like all they see is like the big head the and yeah. like and like a little stick figure that's yeah, and that's yeah. all I see now. Like, when I see it, I'm just like, oh my gosh. They think it's like arms and legs, but it's his tie. It's his tie. But and anyway. I, growing up, I always thought it was his tie, but now that I've heard that, I see that, and I just giggle. It just brings me joy. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second one is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And yeah. it's it's a reading of the entire book, but then... On the other side of the record is Christmas songs from many lands. Hmm. All sung in English. Interesting. But, uh, yeah. And I don't remember, this is mine from when I was a kid. I don't remember ever listening to the other side. Really? Yeah. But, mm. You uh, some nifty things from your childhood. Yeah. Um, including Mini Pops Christmas? Oh, Anyone? I loved the Mini Pops. I had one Mini Pop album. It was not the Christmas one. And, and, and the I best. listened to it forever, like on repeat. 
Oh, yes. Red very, vinyl! Very nice. Yeah. So yeah, there are um, lots of songs on this one. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, and this one is a new pressing, but it, and I think my sister got me this a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, Charlie Brown Christmas. Nice. And it is a... Oh my gosh. Green. Green vinyl. That's Isn't that amazing? So pretty. It's amazing. Another one that was in frequent, frequent rotation. Um, Merry Christmas from Sesame Street. Oh my gracious! Yeah. Jet, I don't think you've yeah. shown me this. No? Not the Isn't inside. That amazing? Yeah, it's all drawings from the. Better not cry. Oh. And then, as most kids do, I marked the other, the back of it all up with pen. But don't show that side. Why did you do that? No, I, because I was like two. I don't know. That that's so nifty. That it. is. Great choice. And last, but certainly not oh. least, mm -hmm. Kenny and Dolly, Once Upon a Christmas. Yeah. There was a TV special in uh, 86, 84. This is from 84. And a, and a lot of the songs were, were from this, but it was like a sort of a story about... Uh, them going to a, a kid's hospital and, oh, and yes, anyway yes, yes. it was i don't know if they've shown it on tv since but um that's what a lot of these uh songs are from and she dolly parton wrote um quite a few of these hmm. brilliant neat. songwriter so anyway I al love it. also in heavy rotation. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. And the Home Alone 2 um, soundtrack on CD, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, listen to that one. <laughs> so since we were just digging through albums, yeah. I selected two. Neither of them are Christmas. <laughs> they are not. So first up, and the issue with me is that I love music and I remember when we first started dating you would be like what kind of music do you like and I'm like you music I, I like music like I love all kinds of different genres and stuff and I love there's so much like from rap and hip-hop to Very like eclectic Yanni yeah exactly like I <laughs> I like love it all like it's just I love it all. But for me, it's like, I just can't remember, like, I can't click it all together sometimes, but that's okay. However, Karma Chameleon, Yep. which as a child, I did not know that that's what it was. I don't think most people did, yeah. child or no. Yeah. So, but that song specifically has like deep memories for me as a child, like a young child. I don't know. I was probably like four or five. And when did that come out? Like 83 or so? Uh, 83. Gosh, you're good. I am good. Yeah, so I would have been five. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so for me, it just has like really deep memories and specific very specific memories and memories tied to like my mom. So yeah. So that, that one always just, I really like That's a good song. one. Yeah. That's a very good one. The other one ooh, is Mo Kenny and they are East Coast, but I think they're actually Halifax from Halifax. I know that they I'm are not, from I'm not sure. East Coast. Anyways. This was like, did you buy this for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, a sub place in Dartmouth. Uh, they had one in stock and I had to like sneak in there and get it and sneak it home. Yeah, yeah. I just, I love it so much. Like, 
it's one of those ones that it's like I can just like listen to and I we've got a few modern yeah we do pressing records yeah um vinyl yeah. it's it's not they're not cheap they're no. like 40 bucks a piece exactly yeah, yeah. But I, I really, really enjoy Mo Penny. They are just really nice, like to listen to. Um, yeah, like I faked it, like the whole thing. Like yep. I just, yeah, very good. So. Do, 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 do. Do. That is my selection from. Non Christmas. Non Christmas only in our albums. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could have picked a few others too, but that's... Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, that's what I want I, I could have. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do ad pants? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do... Drink mist? A drink mist because I'm going to have one tomorrow. I have tomorrow off. ground so. up the beans and you liked it? Yes. I today's was so that. good. Yeah. Yeah. I was off camera, but um, <laughs> the grind was correct. The method was correct. And it was just... It was okay. nice and... and a nice morning, sipping my coffee, watching the Food Network. Yes. Which is always nice. Yes. So day 11. Needing Waters Coffee. Blue Sea. They are in. Oh, yes. Oh, from Tatamagush. Oh. Peruvian median, Peru, <laughs> I can say Peruvian, but not medium. <laughs> Peruvian medium roast from Tatamagosh. And if you're not from Nova Scotia, you might be like, how, you, you pronounce that how? <laughs> Tatamagosh. Yep. Um, tasting notes, very earthy. No, no, let's say 12. Tasting notes, nuts and chocolate, a great early morning, pick me up coffee. So. Nice. Um, grind that up and have it tomorrow. I, I didn't realize that there was a roasting coffee roaster in Tadamagosh. No, me either. This is what's so great about this. Yeah. Yeah. And Tadamagosh isn't that far from us. Like, it's kind of like on the, it's like an outskirt community type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Mm. Actually, let me, let me just. You want to pop it open? Yep, I do. Nope. I can do it myself this time, I think. Oh. Well, while she's opening that, <laughs> I will mention the Brew Kindness giveaway. So, of course, you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave a comment down below to be entered for that. And then we have those other amazing prizes that are like from the tea girl yes. and tanya and from tracy and there might be a couple other things mm. added in there too mm -hmm. you need to be subscribed to the newsletter and then right before christmas we'll be sending out like an exclusive entry form that you'll get to select which ones you'd want to enter to win yes so excited now all the information is in the description or you can find it at Tea with Jan, two ends, dot com. This coffee smells delightful. Can I smell? You can. I'll, I'll smell Gently. it. Gently. Oh, it does. I also smell oranges. It does because I had a, <laughs> I just had a clementine before we... Sat but, down? Yeah. 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 So. I enjoy clementines, but I enjoy them more when you open them for me. <laughs> you don't get the clementine oil all over your hands. I find that it just dries my hands out so much. It, yeah. That's why I don't. I remember that I used to have like this orange peeler. Everybody used to have this orange peeler. I don't know. The, Do the Tupperware one? Yeah. The long plastic stick? Yeah, yeah. we have one somewhere. Oh, really? We, Day 17. I had one. Tea thoughts. Stationary. <laughs> yeah, we should see if we have that. I, I was at work one day. And there was someone with one talking to somebody else about it. And they were like, I don't, I don't understand what this is. Like their boyfriend or something had like put it in with an orange with their lunch. And she was like, I just, I don't understand. And I had been walking by and I went back and I was like, I, okay, no, this is, this is how you do this. So I'm like, use this end to pierce the skin and pull it down. And then the other end you use to pry the skin off. Yeah. 
the, the then, orange. Yeah. And they're just amazed by this. Yeah, but. I find that the orange, um, it just drives my hand out. And I have a hard enough time in the wintertime with that. It's a sticker sheet! <laughs> pretty! Beautiful flowers. Love it, love it. So pretty. Love that pink and purple. Mm. Pink a great and combo. purple. And another combo that I really love is pink and orange. I don't think I see pink and orange enough. I also really love blue and yellow together. <laughs> blue and yellow looks fabulous together. Thank you. That's right. Um, day 17? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, oh this looks, looks like a good like one. Possibly a coconut. Nice. Variety. Maybe? Let's see. Coconut praline, I think. No, 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 no. Nougat praline with nut pieces and marzipan. That marzipan one from yesterday was amazing. It was really good. And I'm not always a big I love marzipan. marzipan. Love, love, love. So, yes. 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 All, right. All right. And with that, <laughs> clearly I've been drinking all the tea. Maybe you... I think I drank okay. quite a bit of this. I really like it. Um, we still don't have... The tree out no oh yeah yes update on that yeah we don't but we did I, I do feel like i've accomplished things that i wanted to today um yeah got the first present wrapped well on our way that's not a fake present <laughs> a little more of a relaxing yeah like like felt like a good relaxing being present sort of yeah day I actually, so it was good yeah it's yeah. very nice yeah so if you have questions, please leave them down below. And do you have anything? No, You're good. I, I'm, I am good. I'm enjoying these blueberry pancakes. <laughs> we yeah. need to make uh, pancakes sometime soon. We haven't had them in a while. But... Yes. Okay. Is that, a, is that an offer to make them in the morning? I thought it was a hint. Oh. <laughs> See, perception. <laughs> What one person <laughs> hears is not what the other person they hear. Oh, maybe we'll go out for blueberry pancakes. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. We should go to that new place. They're not open tomorrow. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll chat true. with you in the comments down below. <laughs> Until tomorrow. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> They're really not open tomorrow? I don't think so. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs>